Alex is a wild child. <laughs> it's what it is. It's a child that has like no rules. It's wild, it's uncontrolled, and we're trying to tame it. But even when it comes down to the climbing and the movement, it's it's untamable. There's like a lot of rock north of Michigan and Ontario, and like so we did our due diligence, we did our research, and we 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 traveled along this highway 546, and we realized that just down the whole stretch of the highway, just rock was everywhere. I went up to Canada with no expectations and then I just ended up falling in love with the process of discovering and finding boulders that no one had touched before. Entering into Canada real soon, the bridge to Canada, we got the Sioux Locks right over there. Gorgeous. Waiting at the border. I'd like to film crossing the border, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's probably illegal. Um, it'd be cool. Climbing is an interesting sport. Um, it, it should probably actually be called falling. Oh, shoot. Oh. Ah. If you climb, you will oh. fail more times than you succeed. Stand up. Uh. Is what I did? Oh. Oh. Come on, slow. Uh, okay. <laughs> go for it, talk, talk, talk. Dad! Yes! Come on, come on. Get the heel, get the heel. Come on, come on. Get the beer, get the come on. Fuck you! <laughs> oh my god! So stupid! Ah! Developing has an even larger chance of failure because you're trying to go find rock that has never been climbed before and even if you do find it it's not 100 percent certain that you will be able to climb it I, I don't i don't live near the nooks at all like six and a half hours away at the minimum is uh, really hard so i have to be prepared and ready to go before i go on these trips like i have to know which ridge lines i want to search for new boulders on and what the topographical maps look like and what all the different satellites look like and where i've walked before so i don't re-walk the same parts and put all this data together and figure out the the most likely parts that boulders could be this season especially struck out so many times trying to find new areas and it's frustrating but it also it's like okay check that area off the list, um, move on to the next area, and, and we'll see if the boulders are there. Sometimes it's really hard to find boulders in this forest. I am 20 feet away from that rock and I can barely see it. This one's cursed by this boulder being in the way and not a great landing. That's unfortunate. Boulders stacked on top of one another. That's amazing. Oh, this is an incredible looking boulder. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is crazy. This is the view. Um, when I got here, I looked behind me and uh, I saw just a haze in the background. I thought, uh oh. And sure enough, it is, uh, it's raining out of nowhere wasn't supposed to be um, so this is interesting I'm absolutely soaked color of the pants not the color of the pants I can't be the only one that pushes this place to the next level I need help with it and uh, and it's happening and I, and I hope that it do inspire some people to do that. You gotta love building trails and you gotta love doing it every day. It's amazing how good this trail is. After only a few years, four years, 
people helping maintain it. It was a, like a learning experience for me too, that these boulders that are covered in moss and lichen and dirt, uh, they can be cleaned up to, to just look beautiful with chalk on them. Grab a dab dab. I have so much more satisfaction at the end because I did all of the hard stuff in the beginning. Nice, that's cool. Sending her out gives an individual a sense of accomplishment, um, achievement, affirmation. Developing a route or an area creates an environment where people can experience those feelings. If we start attracting climbers to this area, you know, they're gonna be spending money in the town, they're gonna be staying at hotels, they're gonna be buying food at the grocery store. And through that, the, the local economy gets supported. And over time, over 10, 15, 20 years, this place could, could really blow up into like thousands of boulder problems, uh, sport climbing, multi-pitch, it's, it's got ice, it's got everything. Like it's, it is that good in my mind that it, that it could be that zone where people travel to come to this place. The Nooks has given me the so much satisfaction in dreaming and the desire to go find more and do more with it. And I look forward to it every day, to going back up. In the crowd. <laughs> Kitty. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I don't know if I'm getting that one. <laughs> <laughs>